Hey guys, I'm at Hollywood Studios today and something dawned on me. What can I get for $10? The reason that happened is because I was taking you up to school. I dropped her off at school and she said, what are you gonna do with the, your day? And I said, I'm gonna go to Hollywood Studios. And she was like, hey, would you pick me up something? And I'm like, oh, I only have $10. So let's see what I can get for $10. And food is definitely out of the question because I can't bring her back food. So this is strictly just merchandise, souvenirs, stuff like that. And I don't know. Let's see what we can get. Well, I guess this looks promising. Keychains and magnets. And I can see some of them are $9.99 or $6.99. Bugs is $9.99. BB-8. No, BB-8 is $12.99. So no BB-8. And no lightsaber, those are $12.99 too. But they light up. Fancy. And a couple of other keychains. I like these goofy one. Oh, look at that. He's only $9.99. But let's see what else we can get. So I guess we'll head into Mickey's of Hollywood. Maybe they got some under $10 gifts. I can get a 2018 Disney Parks plane for only $9.99. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get the bus. Something tells me, yep, that's $12.99. But maybe with my annual pass discount. Ooh. And look at this little guy. Little Mickey Mouse, 2018. And guess how much he is? $7.99. Wow. I'm actually stumbling upon things that I didn't think was going to be possible. These snow globes are not. That's $19.99 and this one's $16.99. And I was kind of hoping for a coffee mug, but actually the cheapest coffee mug is this one right here. And it's got all four ports on it, and they say grandma, mom, dad, and it is $13.99. So even with my annual pass, I couldn't get that for $10. All right, here's a win. A little travel fan, and it's exactly $9.99. I hope the battery comes with this. Oh, it doesn't tell you, so I'm assuming the battery does. But look at that, $9.99. And that's kind of a win too. These little mini hair clips. These are $9.99 as well. Oh, and also antenna. These are three for 15 or one for $5.99. Oh, look, they even have a Jack Skellington one. Wow, $5.99. How about a Donald Duck squeaker? $7.99. I've actually always wanted to know how much these were because I see people wearing them and using them and that's actually not a bad deal. But look at this commemorative coin set. Epcot, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios. Ah, $12.99. I was off by a dollar. But if that was, I would probably buy that. And I believe this is a mini back scratcher. And that's $9.99. That's pretty cool. Little back scratcher. And they got a little springtime cuddles U fluff. U fluffy? I don't know. Oh, it's a U fluffy plush. $6 each. Oh no, but wait. Only when you buy four. $7.99 each. And look at Beast. We have a lot of different guys though. Goofy. Some of the Seven Dwarves, Belle. Hmm. Well guys, even though Mickey's Hollywood has a lot of great things for under $10, I think I'm gonna go across the street to the five and 10 and check that out. Ooh, maybe some good treats in here. So I found a little picture frame. I love my dog and it's $9.99. That is very promising right there. That might be the winner, but I'm gonna keep looking. I wonder how much this one is. Oh, they're magnetic picture frames. Oh, so they're just magnets, but that's also $9.99 as well. In the home goods, they have this headless mini. I am not even sure what this is used for, but it is $9.95. I don't, if you guys know what this is used for, please let me know in the comments. Maybe it's a toothpick holder? I don't know. Oh, and a mini plate. $9.99. I wonder about the bowls. Oh, $6.99. Oh man, we hit the jackpot. 
And a big plate? $12.99. Oh, well, hey. Well, that's important. Gotta always remember to sanitize. And luckily, they are $9.99. Oh, look, they even have a goofy one. They got a whole rack of window decals. And they're all $9.99. I, I like this one the best, though. Or the castle. All right, so there is a lot of things you can get for under $10, but I think I've decided on what I'm gonna get for Yip Yip. And I think it's gonna be the Donald Duck Quacker, because I think it's just so funny. And for $7, you can't beat that deal. So, I'm gonna buy this, and then hey, let's go check out Club 33's entrance. So from what I read, the Brown Derby is where the future home of Club 33 is going to be. And I think it's right in here. Uh-huh. I found the secret entrance. Stop letting me in. I want to go up, please. So here it is. I'm guessing you can take the elevator or you can take these stairs. But it's so interesting. And I think there's a video camera recording me. Huh. So I'm seriously considering going up them steps because there's no chain telling me not to. I just want to see what's up there. I think I'm going to do it. Ooh. Beautiful chandelier. Oh. It's just a door. So that's it. Club 33 is all up there. I'll probably never be able to get up there. Well, since there's not much to look at about Club 33 right now, and since I'm probably never gonna make it up there, let's just carry on with our day. Let's go find some more fun stuff to do at Hollywood Studios. Look at this cool find though. It's a Buzz Lightyear bubble blower. It's kind of a tongue twister right there. It's a Buzz Lightyear bubble blower. It blows bubbles. Huh, how much is this? It says brown. Let's find out what brown means. And look at that, it's $25. I did not buy it, but I am playing with it. Thank you. <laughs> well, as I was wondering what I was going to do today, I decided to check my Disney experience and see if I can get any Fast Passes, and then Toy Story Mania popped up, and I didn't even know they were giving out Fast Passes now. So I grabbed it. So now I'm going to go ride and see uh, how it's looking, how the construction's going on at Toy Story Mania. And here we are, Pixar Studios. So... The fast pass thing only starts in seven days. So we're good. All closed off here. And they still had you going in this back way over here. Technically what used to be the old emergency exit way. But it's funny how they have the standby across the street, actually. That's insane. That's the standby line over there. So you have to wait over there and then get the okay to cross to get in a line over there. Wow. Ooh, it smells nice in here. And they put up a new wall. <laughs> the way it used to come in. So even though I had a fast pass, it still took me 25 minutes to get here. So uh, it is very, very busy and it's affecting the operation a lot. But I'm not going to film while I'm on there because I want to see how good I can do. So we'll see what the results are after this. I got a cat! Woo! I got a cat! Thanks, Woody. Well, that was fun. I didn't get as high as a score that I wanted to get. I did make a video, like a tip video on Hollywood Studios where I showed you where all the special bonus things are in that game. Uh, but I wasn't on my A game today. So I'm just gonna have to 
let this one go. So I think that wraps it up for today. Had a lot of fun. Got to see that Club 33 entrance, which is pretty neat. And found a lot of goodies for under $10. So love the life you live and live the life you love. And if it's your first time watching, subscribe to our channel. You might like it. Bye. And just look at that sunset and gondola structure.